Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Lewandowski card to review. Uh, he's the Barcelona version. They should have given him a five star, five star, especially for this point in the game. Uh, but it is what it is, guys. He's six foot one, high low work rates, right footed, four star skills, they five star weak foot. So here's the thing, okay? Lewandowski this year. I, I know that some people liked this card, you know, the team of the season and stuff. But honestly, I was like, this card's super, like, whatever in this game, right? In my opinion, I thought he was super whatever. And the high-low work rate adjustment could make him more than a whatever player, right? Because Darwin Nunez with the new card that was released, the showdown version, the high-low is very noticeable on the card, considering that the last one was a high-high. So, hopefully, that actually changes things with a card like this, because... He has both of the shooting traits. He has the chip shot trait, which is always very, very helpful because I'm telling you guys, the animation choice for the chip shots is always really nice. Uh, In-game attributes. This is not a card that can upgrade uh, and he is already in the perfect area, which is awesome, right? Because from what I'm seeing, pace is good. Shooting is good. Passing is something you can improve. Dribbling you don't need to improve on. Physical is good. So what do you give this card? I mean... Why am I a freak and still want to give him an engine? I, I still think it's an engine, is it not? I think it's still an engine on him. It's small variables, but he's already perfect at shooting, or essentially perfect at shooting. Pace will be perfect. Passing will be improved. Dribbling will be as close as perfect as... Well, not close. It, it is perfect, right? Which is going to be very important because he's a six foot one player with his unique body type. But as we know from the previous reviews, he moves a certain way, right? Uh, and then... He already has base card stats for physical, and he also had, has heading accuracy. So the engine chemistry style is going to make the most sense for a card like this, which is interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unlock the card, and I'll show you guys how we line up in game. Okay, guys, so we have a team sorted out. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and give him the engine chemistry style. It's funny to give him an engine when he's close to 99 for everything, but you got to make these players as perfect as possible uh, for how this game kind of plays out, right? So... Uh, let's do that. Four, one, two, and two. Yes, sir. Um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do. Yeah, we'll do that. Mateus East Coast East Coast card. I, I, I'll be very surprised if they don't do like a footies East Coast or something because East Coast is really nice. Honestly, it's a card that still holds up really well. Good attacking at yeah, Cam and everything, right? So, uh, but yeah, Lewandowski will be on the getting behind instruction, and we will basically just take it from there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try them out. No, I did that skill move way too late. Way too late. Oh, I even green that too. No. Bro, that free kick te technique is sick. <laughs> he has an animation for his free kicks? Yo. Okay. Oh, enter session without me even doing anything? Cool. I was like looking at my other screen. Ah. Uh, you know, I gotta try those, man. I gotta try those. Really, that green's not good either, eh? Okay, okay. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that was a nice chip, though. The run was great, though. The run was great. Yeah, so I needed to catch it on the volley because if I settled the ball on the floor, it wouldn't have come out great. So that was a good strike. Ah, oh, no green on that one. No green, no green. That one goes in though, let's go. Great sharp animation there. Ew. 
Hey, listen, I'm gonna tell you this right now. The high low work rate, it made a difference. He's making good runs. Did I miss? Oh, he saved it. Oh, that was perfect too. If the goalie doesn't go for it, that's a goal. Mm. I wonder if I should do a driven shot there. I wonder if that would actually work in that situation. What a goal. Oh, come on. Dude, the chip shot trade, I'm telling you, is just so sick to work with. Yeah, you got to work with his dribbling a little bit. Look, 99 dribbling stats for everything. Yeah, you still got to work with it. <laughs> Not like crazy, like those are like forced ones, but there's players that are obviously more agile that'll, you know. Hmm, okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> okay. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh... Oh, on target. Oh, I didn't time the run. That sucks. Good too. Well, the high-low work rate's definitely a welcome inclusion on the card. Definitely adds a variable to him now. It doesn't feel as generic. A little bit of that shielding is that physical presence, you know the vibes. That's enough. Oh, you knew I was gonna go for some acrobatic stuff there. Oh, I thought that was gonna be like really good. I'm lucky. No! I didn't even hold the trigger for that. <laughs> Guys, Lewandowski has the audacity traits, bro. <laughs> very good, very good. Work the small angles, my boy. No. Good animation, though, to be fair. Oh. The, the lob pass that I was hoping for is the one where I can go for a header, but... So, so with his uh, dribbling, you obviously have to work with it. I'm not going to say that you don't have to work with it. Uh, it would have been very nice to have the five-star skills. I think in this game nowadays, it's very important to have McGeady cancels, elasticals and stuff, you know? Because Lewandowski is capable of actually doing skill moves in real life, so it's weird to not give him those things, right? But... Nice shot cancel. Oh, yeah, he has really good chip shots. If I get the right power down with it, I'm good. These stadiums should not exist in FIFA. I don't know why this is still a thing. That works. That works. Let's go!
Yep. When you get close to the keeper, they start to push against you a little bit, right? So you just have to time the left stick correctly. Oh, I should just wait for the extra run there. What a header. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Lewandowski card. So the dislikes I understand from people, to be honest with you, for people that play the game a little bit more seriously, because obviously in the top tier divisions, it is very helpful to have the five star skill moves because this card is a physical type striker, but he's not a physical type striker like Lukaku. Like Lukaku, if you were to release a special version of that card in like the beginning stages of FIFA, great, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But players like Darwin Nunez, this new Lewandowski card, they're really nice to use in game, but they kind of need the skill moves to open up the space. So that part is going to be disappointing, right? However, this card is pretty sick. If you don't really care about the skill moves or you don't use it too much and you don't mind using physical type strikers and you know you don't do these small little dribbles that I like to do sometimes, right, to open up the space, which I feel like is important. But regardless, uh, it's still a pretty good card. He's a really good finisher. He was, honestly, I was saying in the review, like he has the audacity traits because he was hitting really, really crazy strikes. The fact that he has the five-star weak foot adds that variable to the card where he can actually score from most of the positions. If you go for a finesse shot or you go for an outside foot shot trait, he's going to be pretty solid at hitting them. Now, obviously with a finesse shot trait, probably not going to be as consistent as someone like Salah because those guys with a certain body types, shorter heights, they, their consistency at hitting it is just unbelievable right that's why messi what messi is one of the best finesse shot takers in the game because his body type and, and heights really really helps that out but obviously he was still able to hit them from time to time and it was really nice you obviously have to give him the engine chemistry style because you know making cards as perfect as possible is usually very important uh even though this card has 99 dribbling stats in every single area of the card you're still gonna have to work with that body type and height from time to time which you guys know how FIFA is, right? Like, should he feel more responsible? He should, but uh, we, that's living in a different universe, you know? Uh, but yeah, the card is still pretty sick. Honestly, I think at this point in the game, they could have done a five-star, five-star for three squads. I think it would have been really cool to give to the community, especially since it's the end of the game, EA, right? But it's like I said, if you don't mind working with physical type strikers that are a little bit off with the left stick sometimes, and he doesn't have the five-star skills, He's really good at doing everything else, okay? Finishing is great. Heading is great. Uh, his movement on the pitch is fantastic. The high-low work rate change is a massive deal because you guys know, man, I, I try out this card right here, right? Uh, team of the year, team of the seasons, and it was more like I had to make him look good. Does that make sense? Like, I had to make him look decent, but I didn't really, like, find the card to be that crazy. Like, Lewandowski is just one of those types of dudes, but... This card had the high medium work rates. I'll tell you this right now. I use these cards a lot this year. And the moments one having the high low work rate is a really, really big difference for sure. So, uh, yeah, it's just one of those types of SBCs, right? Where um, if you don't care about the skills and you don't care about the left stick sometimes, it's a pretty solid card. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.